All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Monte Carlo, and it's been a crazy last little, actually, probably last hour, uh, with results and news. And now Djokovic is playing. Uh, he's taking on Sefulin. This is going to be an interesting matchup. We, of course, uh, have watched Sefulin a fair bit, and he has been... He has been dangerous. He's beaten some big names uh, in the past. But uh, let's get the preview because these guys have also played each other uh, one time before. All right, so you can see here the winner of this will take on either Feast or or Musetti, who are uh, supposed to play pretty soon, I think. So um, we'll see whether or not uh, we find out that result. We should find that out pretty soon. Uh, and then, of course, this section potentially plays Rublev. In a quarterfinal, uh, Rublev will be playing tomorrow, uh, weather depending. So, yeah, interesting, interesting little section here with uh, some some hurdles for Djokovic. All right, Roman Sefulin, 41 in the world. He's 26 years old from Russia. He is right, uh, six foot one, right-handed. Uh, five wins, seven losses on the year. He has no titles this year, but he has got uh, he has got form. Well, not form and bad form. It's, it's not great. He's lost his last couple of matches, only winning a couple uh, in those last few. Novak Djokovic, world number one, 36-year-old from Serbia. He is 6 foot 2 right-handed. Eight wins, three losses on the year. He has no titles this year, but he's got 98 career titles. We thought he'd have 100 by now. By the clay season, we thought he had 100. So uh, he's going to have to, gonna have to uh, step up so he can get to that 100 and beyond. Uh, and his form this year has been... It's been weird. And they played in Tel Aviv two years ago, and Djokovic got the straight set to win. Second set was close, but uh, Djokovic got the win, and I think uh, ended up winning the title, if I can remember correctly, in Tel Aviv. I can't remember exactly, but uh, Djokovic got the win in their only matchup, but that was indoor hard court, so this is outdoor clay. A little different. Also, it's very, uh, very bad weather conditions, so uh, it's slow. It's very slow as well. Um, now... Let me, uh, so, we do have Alcaraz news, uh, go check out the video if you haven't already, the video came out 15 minutes ago, go watch that video, go comment on that video, uh, like that video, uh, Alcaraz news, uh, link in the chat. Alright, here we go, Djokovic to fuel, and now Berrettini lost, that happened, like, badly, um, like he got whooped. Uh, Kichmenovich has not had a good year, and Berrettini must have just been tired from winning a title last week. So uh, he got beat. Uh, Draper, her catcher in a third set. No surprise there. Expected that. We had uh, Zhang getting up. Let's go. Now, with Alcaraz gone, my team is a shambles. So uh, I need I need Zhang to make the final. Uh, Echeverry and Jarry are just starting as well, which is a fun one uh, to keep an eye on as well. So, uh, still plenty of tennis, but there is rain on the way. So, we've got to see how long we last in this, uh, on this day. Because it's, uh, it's going to get a little, it could be a little dodgy a little later. Can Djokovic finish before it rains? That is the question. Because it's going to rain again uh, later. So, we've also got uh, Monfils versus Thompson. That hasn't started yet. Fils Musetti. Chorich Struff. And Zverev Ovna are the matches that uh, still have to be played. Uh, luckily, center court, both matches have been very quick. So uh, Djokovic is on probably a lot quicker than maybe he'd expected, considering the two-hour uh, two rain delay. What do I mean by my team? I, I have I have selected a bunch of players who are in my team, and Zhang is one of them. So is Alcaraz. I, in fact, I traded out a lot of players to get Alcaraz, so I feel stupid. Um, but that's alright. Dash got a new video? Yep. I have to watch that. I have to watch that later. Um, Carlos has injured his arm. Yeah. Go watch the video. No spoilers. <laughs> watch the video. <laughs> Go watch the video. Um, Nolay's body is subject, subject of books. What do you mean? Oh, you mean it's like, you know, medical marvel? Yeah. No substitute for the, uh, for match fitness. Got to earn it. Berrettini will get better. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'm a little surprised he lost, lost that badly. But I guess losing, not surprising, considering he's played uh, a lot of tennis in his comeback. 
I'm sure you've answered this, but are you planning to play the new tennis game? What's up? You mean the um, the one, the ATP one? Yeah, we uh, we played it in Miami. I just didn't get it. I could, I didn't get my team in. I totally forgot about it, to be honest, this week. But yeah, who replaces Carlos? Uh, great question. I tell you what, if it's if it's Lorenzo Sinego, I'll be pretty happy because he is in my team, and if he is the replacement, that would be awesome. There is a god. There is a god. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, Team Cam wins again. Woo. Okay. That's we're good. My my emergency Sinego is in. Yes. Let's. There is a. There is. There is a tennis god. Thank you. All right. By the way, it says this is their first meeting on clay. That is true. Sinego comes in. Yes. <laughs> Let's go! All right. I'm not picking up a zero on that one. Sinego comes in. He takes Elka as a spot as uh, as the man. Woo! <laughs> oh, God. That's so lucky. That's so lucky. Um, <laughs> so lucky. Um, yeah, I mean, I put a beating on uh, on Berrettini. Yeah. Yeah, Berrettini must have been tired. You got, you got to, we got to give him that excuse. I know it's an excuse, but it's, you know, you got to... We gotta give him that. Cam got lucky. I'll tell you what, that is lucky as hell. That is so lucky. <laughs> Let's go. How do you think? Uh, who do you think's gonna win? I think Djokovic wins this. Straight sets. Straight sets. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Song wins, and now Sinego takes the spot of Alcaraz. Oh, come on, Lorenzo. Now he's just got to beat FAA and make uh, you know make it worth it while, you know? What happened to Carlos? Uh, video link in the chat. Go watch it. It goes for a minute. You can watch that and then come back. It'll literally... Uh, you can watch that, come back, and you'll you know probably still be waiting for the match to start. Am I chilly? I'm freezing. It's so cold. I'm not used to it yet. I'm not used to this weather yet. Three to four lucky losers already, yeah. Yeah, Lehechka. Also, Lehechka pulled out Barcelona as well, I think. So, uh, Lehechka's got some, got some issues. Somebody's just uh, stolen mum's iPad. Uh, who wins this tournament? Well, I said, I said I, was, I had a weird feeling about Zverev. Um, I said I couldn't pick Alcaraz, but... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with Zverev, but Djokovic obviously has a great draw now. <clears throat> Who you got winning this one, chat? I'm going to go Djokovic in straights. He's been back in a back-end rally in the net from Safulan, and it's 15-love. Um, interesting as well, con considering Nole and Alcaraz were supposed to play in the semis, like Djokovic getting the news that Alcaraz withdraws before he has to play his first match, I mean, that's that's got to be a bit interesting for Djokovic. Like hearing that, oh, by the way, Alcaraz has withdrawn. Good luck with your match. That's a bit... Hopefully his team didn't tell him. As with a four to four and rally, and that goes out from Safulan again. Love thirty. Yeah, who? Uh, let me check. Who's got the benefit of? So Casper Rude's got a good draw now. Hercatch or Draper? If Hercatch can win, Hercatch could make the semis. Uh, if he if he can get that win, Casper uh, Rude's probably the obvious choice though. And that'd be great to see Rude Djokovic in the semis. Like Rude deserves to be in these big semis. He's a great clay quarter. Fifteen thirty. Um, yeah, it just comes down to if Hercatch can uh, can take out Draper. Um, he might be able to go on another run, but... I'm going to say about why the back end of Djokovic, but it's called a let. I think Alcaraz out would make Djokovic happy, yeah. Yeah, it would, it would make him... It, would, it gives his draw a little... But then again, he still has tough opponents before that match would have happened anyway, but... Yeah, it definitely helps Djokovic. As we're falling now from Safiul, and that's a winner. And it's 30 all. 30 all. Safiul serves again. Thirty all is we serve. It is a fault. Second serve.
Second serve. Into the forehand of Djokovic. Forehand from Sefjulin to the backhand of Djokovic. He goes down the line. Great shot, Nole. And it's 40 30. Unbelievable. Djokovic to take the break to start the match. 30 40. Break point, Djokovic. Thirty forty, and Sifuon serves a fault. Second serve into the back end of Djokovic. Showing goes the back end of Sifuon. Djokovic hits the back end slice into the front of Sifuon. Again, the back end of Djokovic sliced again into the front of Sifuon, who puts it wide. There's the break. Djokovic takes the break. First game of the match. One more. How many points must Nolly defend here in Monte Carlo? Uh, I think 90. About 90 points, so nothing. Zero, basically. Um, he lost last year in the third round to Musetti, who he might have to play again in the third round. But, um, yeah. All right. One love. Jokers with break. Now, if Djokovic wins this match, he gets a day off tomorrow, so that, that'll be handy. I'm pretty sure. Medi plays tomorrow, Sam Huff is a sinner, yeah. Yeah, so tomorrow, all the matches, all the players that haven't played yet will play tomorrow. And then some. And then we to serve from Djokovic. One love. As he serves a let out wide, Djokovic. As Norley serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Down the middle of the back end of Sefulin, and Sefulin puts it wide. L uh, 15 love. 15 love. Fifteen love. Djokovic serves again. Another fault. Second serve. Second serve in the front of Fuel and return goes back to Djokovic. Fuel with a forehand. Into the front of Djokovic on the stretch. As Fuel goes down the line. Djokovic there with the backhand pass. That's too good. This is going to be on Venice TV. Great shot down the line. From Norway, 30 love. Thirty love Djokovic. Lovely backhand down the line. Perfect shot. Thirty love. As we return now into the forehand of Djokovic. Backhand now from Sefulin. As Djokovic hits the backhand again. The backhand of Sefulin into the forehand of Djokovic. To the forehand of Sefulin on the stretch. Djokovic forehand down the line. Sefulin's there with the backhand on the stretch again. As Djokovic goes cross court again to the backhand of Sefulin. Into the backhand of Djokovic. He hits a drop shot. Sefulin gets it. Djokovic forehand flick. Sefulin with a volley. Djokovic can't get that one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right. Sefulin with a lovely drop volley. 30-15. Nice recovery there from Sefuel and good hustle. 30 15. Serve again. Thirty fifteen. Jock majority with a break. She serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve. The back of Sefulin. Return goes to the back end of Djokovic. Sefulin backhand down the middle. As Djokovic's forehand goes cross court in the front of Sefulin. 
It's fueling over, hits it. And it's 40 15. 40 15. Djokovic to consolidate. Forty fifteen. Djokovic serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve into the back end of fuel and return is shipped into the back of Djokovic. So fueling down the line in the net. Two love Djokovic in this first set. Eight minutes played. All right. Two love Nole. By the way, if you don't know what's going on with Alcaraz, I made a video. I'd appreciate it if you watched it. Uh, if you haven't already. It happened as soon as we started this match, pretty much. Almost as soon as I was about to go live, the announcement came out. Are you cold? I am I'm very cold. I'm waiting for my... I bought a jacket. Um, but it's it's not here yet. So I'm waiting for this that I can actually wear on stream. <laughs> like a tuxedo jacket. Drop me to the back and inside out winner. Love 15. So for now, I have to wear my denim jacket. All right, love 15. Did I hear the news about Alcaraz and pulling out of Monte Carlo? Yes. You must have just got here because uh, that tw 10 seconds ago, I was talking about that. <laughs> love 15. Return goes into the backhand. Of Sefjolin, Foyna, Joker to the Foyna, Sefjolin, and Sefjolin hits it wide. Love 30. Love 30. Where can you watch this? You can watch it on Tennis TV. You got, just got here? Yeah. Well, I made a video about uh, El Crest. You can go watch it. It's right there. Okay. First serve is a fault. Second serve. And as the return goes in the fourth field and shanks it out. Love 40. Love 40. Love 40 is... And as Djokovic looks for the double break. Love 40. And Zephyrlin hits a nice serve. 15 40. As the first serve goes in the net. Second serve. Second serve in the form of Djokovic. Backhand out Sefjolin to the slice of Djokovic. And Sefjolin hits the backhand down the line for a winner. 30-40. That's a great way to save a break point. Still a chance though for Nole to take the double break. 30-40. 30-40. Djokovic still a chance to get the double break. Serve out wide the backhand of Djokovic. Lob goes up. As Sefjolin hits it inside out of the back of Djokovic, and Djokovic hits that one long. Sefjolin gets the deuce. Sefjolin gets to deuce. All right. Sefjolin gets to deuce. As... Return goes in from Djokovic to the fourth of Sefjolin. Back in and no to the back end of Sefjolin. As Djokovic is four and goes cross court. Sefjolin shanks it wide. And it's another break point for Djokovic. Advantage to take... To take the double break. To 
take the double break. Will Djokovic skip Wimbledon? That would be insane. Uh, I don't know. Advantage Djokovic. Served on the tee. Is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the back end of Djokovic. Back in out from Sefulin. Hit the tape goes over. Djokovic just with a forehand inside out to the back end of Sefulin. And Sefulin hits it out. There's a double break. Double break. Novak Djokovic, three love to start off this match. All right. Three love. How are we doing, chap? Will you answer my question? Can you answer my question, please? Six one prediction. Cool. <laughs> Nola is an old man, but doesn't give up. Jesus. That's a backhanded compliment, if I've ever seen one. If he wins the Olympics, he will, if he wins Olympics, he'll skip Wimbledon. How does that work? Olympics is after. Olympic medal doesn't count in tennis, for, unfortunately. Huh? Bro, Djokovic ain't... Ever winning another slam, Ben Shelton. <laughs> Damn, I was halfway through that. Wanted to roast that person. Um, <laughs> you're too quick, Deb. Um, I think Nole this year will trade happily two to three slams for a gold medal. Yeah. Look, I, if you don't think Djokovic will win a slam this year, that's insane. You don't think he wants revenge to get Wimbledon again? Do you, you don't think he wants to possibly break the US Open record or at least equal the record with five. No one else has won more than five on the men's side there. Obviously, gold medal. That's the that's the big one, right? He wants that. He needs that for himself. But, um, I mean, slams are still Djokovic's thing. And there are still records. You know, Federer's record at Wimbledon. The US Open record is still there. Uh, the French Open, he wants to try and win that again, obviously. Um, even this tournament, people are thinking this, he doesn't do well here, doesn't care about this. Djokovic still wants at least to get the triple Masters or the triple gold Masters, right? I mean, there's still something to play for there. Not to mention, with his biggest clay court threat injured, Djokovic can take a massive advantage here of, over Alcaraz when it comes to clay court uh, confidence, right? So it'll be really interesting. But Djokovic, if Djokovic doesn't win a slam this year, that would be insane. He doesn't win one? Like one? As Djokovic hits a terrible volley in the net. Love 15. All right, love 15. Also, yeah, also there's the, you know, the most titles ever, which is probably not going to get this year, but, you know, he can try and get to 100 titles. That's still on the cards, right? 100 Grand Slams. Oh, sorry, 100. Uh, <laughs> 100. <laughs> Hang on. 100 career titles. Uh, Love 15. That's a forehand round into the four to Djokovic. Again, to the four to Sefiola on the stretch. Djokovic volleys that one away. 15 all. Um, it's kind of crazy, though. If you think if he wins 100 titles and, ha and a quarter of those are slams, that's pretty insane. 100 slams. Yeah, okay. Uh, look, all right. Just you know, You know what I meant. All right. 15 off. So just a little, hey, look. Just a little. Djokovic fans will be like, well, he will win 100 slams. And okay, he, maybe he will. 15 off. As with a forehand now to the slice of Sefulin. Sefulin hits it wide. 30 15. 30 15. Djokovic serves again. Thirty fifteen. Uh, Djokovic serves into the back end of Sefulin. Four from Djokovic inside out goes long, and it's thirty all. All right, thirty all. Djokovic has got the double break. Right, thirty all. Yours with a serve again from 
Djokovic is a fault. Second serve. Cam said Nole would not win a slam this year, right? Chat, did I just... You must have had me on mute. Uh, backhand to backhand rally as that goes down the line from Djokovic to the Fornus of Fuelin. Four now from Djokovic. Again to the Fornus of Fuelin. Into the Fornus of Djokovic. Again to the Fornus of Fuelin who hits it into the backhand of Djokovic. Drop shot's good. So Fuelin's there though with a drop shot back. Djokovic is going to get there with a backhand pass. Too easy. Neither play good. Be on TV, right? Neither guy really put a big, uh, good drop shot in, but Djokovic made the fuel and pay. All right. 40 30. Oh, yeah. Djokovic has got uh, Nenad Zimanic, who is a former Serbian doubles player, and not just any doubles player, as people in the comments told me. I know, he's, I know how good he was, all right? Just, you know, calm down. 40 30. He's in. The, he's sitting there at the moment. As we serve is a fault. Second serve. Forty thirty. Djokovic with a four one a four love lead. Forty thirty. As we serve out wide, the backhand of Sefulin. Djokovic goes down the line with the backhand. Sefulin digs it out with a forehand into the forehand of Djokovic. And Sefulin smacks one down the line on the forehand side, but it goes wide, and it's four love. Djokovic in the first set. 4-0. Cam, you know when I was at the Dubai Open, I was like 10 meters away from Popperin and he was huge. Yeah, I mean, Popperin's, uh, he's a big, he's a big dude. He's a big dude. All right. Four love. And it's with a fault from Sefulin. Second serve. Second serve as the return goes into the forehand of Sefulin. Djokovic gets there with the forehand on the stretch. Sefulin with a volley goes wide. Djokovic slapped the forehand down the line. Sefulin couldn't handle it. Love 15. Love 15. Love 15. As we return out of the back and the fuel and back in our Djokovic down the line is wide. 15 all. Fifteen all. As we just serve again from Sefuel and return goes in the forehand as Djokovic hits the forehand on the stretch. He just gets it. Sofiolan goes down the line. Djokovic can't get that one. 30-15. Nice hitting there from... From... Uh, Sofiolan. Thirty fifteen. First serve's a fault. Second serve. Second serve is a return from Sefuel and goes wide. Off the return from Djokovic and it's 30 old. Chance for Djokovic to uh, got five love here. 30 old. Thirty all. Now wide is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the backhand now of, of Djokovic. Forehand to forehand is Sefulin. Goes again to the forehand of Djokovic. Now the backhand is Sefulin. Djokovic forehand cross court. As Sefulin hits it again to the forehand of Djokovic, hits it down the line. That's a great shot from Nole. Straight down the line. That ball was and it's 30-40, Djokovic, to take a five-love lead here in the first set. All right. Djokovic 
30, 40, 22 minutes in. Thirty forty. As we return now from Djokovic, that goes out. So Fjolan survives. We get the deuce. We get to deuce. Serving to the back end is a fault from Sefulon. Second serve. As Djokovic is a return winner. This is going to be on tennis TV. Right? Advantage Nole. Advantage Djokovic to take. A 5-love lead. His backhand, by the way, 9.6 shot quality in this set. Crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. What a backhand. First serve is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. As a return from to Djokovic goes wide, and it's back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. We get back to Deuce. As we default, second serve. Second serve into the form of Djokovic, who hits it out in the return. And it's advantage to Fulin to get on the board here in this first set. Now, right. serve out wide as a fault. Second serve. Second serve into the backhand of Djokovic. Backhand out from Sefulin down the line as Djokovic hits the forehand to the slice of Sefulin. Backhand out from Djokovic again at the back of Sefulin. Into the forehand of Djokovic as Sefulin hits the forehand of the stretch with a slice. Djokovic, forehand, inside out winner. Back to Deuce. Nice hitting there from Nole. And we're back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. That's the fuel and serves again. That's the fuel and the serve is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the corner, Djokovic who smacks a return down the line. Man, Nole's on fire! Advantage Djokovic to take a 5-love lead here in the first set. Advantage Djokovic. Sefulin with a serve into the back end of Djokovic. Return goes into the fort of Sefulin, who hits it behind Nole for a winner. That's a good forehand winner. Back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. Alright, so Fjorn serves again. As the return goes in the net from Djokovic, good serving to Fjorn. Advantage to Fjorn. <clears throat> to get on the board here. Advantage to Fulin. And he serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. And the return goes out by Norway. There's a Fulin on the board. Unbelievable. All right. 4-1. No bagel. Not in this set. No bagel this time. There's a cold in Australia now, Cam. It is getting there. It's getting there. You can watch this match on Tennis TV. 
What happened? Carl out. Yep, I made a video uh, talking about or he explaining what happened, or he he explained what happened. I just told you what he said. Um, so you can go over there and check that out. And it takes a, it will take probably thirty seconds to watch that video, and we'll be back to watch the next game after that. Um, yeah, poor uh, poor Elkrest for sure. And sucks for us. I was excited to watch Elkrest this week. As I am all the time. And I thought that Sephulon had a chance. Well, so far. So far, so not. But, you know. Still plenty of match to go. I wonder if Djokovic kind of knows that there's going to be rain. So... You think that maybe... He's trying to get things done quickly. Alcaraz withdrew to injury. But, uh, thanks. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Uh, Rude got a lucky draw again. Well, I mean, you, only, you say that now, but he was okay. Like the Rude's draw is still not easy. Just because Alcaraz is gone doesn't mean Rude's going to make the semis. He has a good chance now. Yeah, but... I think Carlos already has a fair number of injuries for a young guy. So did Rafa, though. And Rafa was the greatest player of all time for a year. So I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't retire Alcrows just yet. All right. Serve to the forehand of Sefulin. And Sefulin hits it wide. 15 love. 15 love. Djokovic with a 4-1 lead. Double break. Couldn't make it a triple break. And we serve again. Into the back end is fueling. Back end from Djokovic. Drop shot. Oh, that's just, come on. This is going to be offensive. That was nasty. That was so, so good. You don't think Djokovic is ready to win an Olympic gold medal on a clay court? I mean, that is freaking, he's been playing like, that's insane. Stop it. They're all playing in Miami, and he went to the clay. Djokovic, he pulled out of Miami to go play clay. And go watch the Warriors, you know, in basketball. But also, I mean, come on. Come on. Ridiculous. 30 love. Looks like Djokovic has been playing on clay for the whole year. 30 love. Thirty love. As Djokovic serves again. And the return goes in the net from Sefulon. 40 love. 40 love. So Sinego lost in the qualies and gets the second round crazy. Let's go. The perfect replacement for him. I'm not finding the video. It's literally on the channel. I put a link in the chat. You could... Uh, there it is. Click that link. And it will solve all your problems. 5-1. Djokovic leads. 5-1 in the second. In the first. The couch coaches and doctors need to take a rest. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Brenda, name names. Who are you talking about? Okay, 5-1. Don't spam. <laughs> Mods, ban, ban me. Uh, it's been a 4 to 4 rally. That slice goes into the fourth of Sefulin. Djokovic to the fourth on the stretch. Sefulin with a backhand into the middle of the court. Djokovic gets there. Backhand, a, bit, a forehand, and Sefulin shanks it out. And it's left 15. Sefulin just shanking that one. Love 15. No, you cannot ban me, Deb. Uh, love 15. <laughs> Can't spam me with no shame. But my channel, my rules. <laughs> love 15. I'll spam sometimes. If I want to. As we get a return now from Djokovic to the back into Sefulon. Slice Djokovic drop shot. 
There's another great shot. Sefulin can't get there. And it's Love 30. Sefulin just getting... Uh, it's getting wrecked by Norley. Love 30. Who replaces Alcaraz? So, uh, Sinego, who lost in the qualies, he comes in as a replacement. Love 30. And there's a bit of serve down out wide as a fault from Sefulin. Second serve. Second serve. And as we do return now, Djokovic forehand inside out to the back, and Sefulin. Sefulin hits it out. Love 40. Djokovic to take the first set here. Love 40. Three set points. Three set points to take the first set. Love 40. And uh, Sefulin serves a fault. Second serve. Second set of the Fauna Djokovic return goes deep into the Fauna Sefulin. Djokovic backhand into the Fauna Sefulin, who puts it into the Fauna Djokovic. Again to the Fauna Sefulin, who smacks it in the net. First set, 6 1. Novak Djokovic making things look easy. And he has a bag with a million, what is it, like 30, what is it, 36? 36 1000 titles on the bag. Just little smiley faces. It's going to run out of room. Uh, your hair looks great. Not sure if slightly different color or longer. I just... I'm just too lazy to go and uh, get it cut. Uh, 40. 40 Masters. I should know that. Djokovic fans, don't hurt me. 11 winners, Djokovic. 4 unforced errors. Very clean tennis. 7 winners, 10 errors from Sefulin. Look, not bad from Sefulin in terms of his game. Like, There's not much more he could really have done. Maybe, I mean, yeah, he could have hit 100 winners. But, yeah, look... Sefjord is just playing against Novak Djokovic, the greatest player of all time. Who's playing great? All right. Nole may be finished, but he can still be dangerous. Jesus Christ. You really came into a Novak Djokovic chat and said that? Out loud? With your full ch with the whole chest? You said that? You walked into here and you were like, hey, Novak Djokovic might be over. He might be done, but he can still play sometimes. Like, dude, are you serious? That's insane. That, I don't know if that's insane or like courageous. Like that's crazy, or 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 you're you're really tough. I don't. Wild. Um. Anyways, Sinner for sure the winner. Okay. Twenty four majors, four forty one thousands. There you go. When Sitter wins, this he's going to be number one, right? Tell you what, a lot of Sitter fans in the chat is getting a little ahead of themselves. <laughs> I, I, look, and I, look, I don't mind it. Go for your life, but don't. I don't want you to set your boy up for failure. Like when Sitter wins this, not if when. When he wins this, will he be number one, sir? Jesus, guys. Just maybe just, just pump the brakes a little bit. Just a little. Just pump the brakes a little bit. He's won one Grand Slam. All right? Just pump the brakes. He's got one Grand Slam. All right? Can he win 30? No. Just shh. We, he hasn't played, we haven't seen him on clay for 12 months. Last time he played a clay court match, he lost to, after, saving, after having match points to a random-ass guy. So... Let's not talk about Clay Court Sinner yet. We don't know what Clay versus Sinner looks like yet. Let's see what he looks like tomorrow, and then we'll go from there, right? <laughs> but I'll give you your answer. If Sinner wins, if Sinner wins this tournament, if, in fact, Sinner's actually number three in the world right now in the live rankings. Now, Elkris pulling out helps Sinner, so, you know, count the, count, count the lucky stars. If Sinner wins this tournament and Djokovic loses right now, it doesn't matter. Djokovic is still number one. So no. The answer is no. Sinner's going to have to do more than just win Monte Carlo. In fact, he's going to have to get to the probably the quarterfinals to be number two again. Because right now, Elkra is number two. So just, uh, just 
Steady on. Lots of action in the Hercash uh, Draper match. Yeah, what's going on there? Hercash served him the match and then gets broken. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, look, I knew that was going to be the over. I don't think Hercash ever plays... Like, does he ever play straight sets of matches? I don't think he's... He doesn't play easy matches, right? Hey! George Russell's in the house! And we've got the same hair. That's awkward. Um... George Russell, did I not say yesterday that where the hell are the Formula One drivers? Where's George Russell? He's right there. He heard me. He's right there. He he must have been watching. He must have been watching over here because I think he lives here, right? He lives in one of these one of these like mansions. He must have been watching the channel and uh, and and said, "Oh shit, that guy on the TV said I should go to the thing." So now he's at the thing. <laughs> Can you imagine if anybody watched this channel? F1 drivers are there. Well, one of them is. One of them is. My man Russell, that's it. What's the pose? Is this the, this one? The pose? Is that, is that, am I doing it right? Is that the, the George Russell? If you know, you know. Uh, Sinner lost to Altmaier in the, at the French last year. Exactly. That's why that was his last clay court match. That was perfect. <laughs> All right. Djokovic serving first and the second. As he serves the backhand of Sefulin. Djokovic to the forehand into the forehand of Sefulin. It's Sefulin in the net. 15 love. Uh, Sinner is 23 years old and the next year he'll be 24. Correct. That's how it works sometimes. As that goes wide by Sefulin, 30 love. 30 love. The top of your head looks like Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, that was probably the worst insult ever. Like, that, that was... Come on. If you, I mean, if you're going to make make fun of me, you, you've got to do better than that. 40 love. I mean, if you're trying to make me feel bad, it didn't work. 40 love. Compare me to Leo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess I'll guess I'll take it. As Jogger serves an ace of one love. One love. Djokovic in the second. 37 minutes played. Um, what's going on with, uh, Echeverry? How's that going? Jerry. Oh, Echeverry won the first set 6-4. There you go. There you go. Leave Sinner alone! Enough unnecessary pressures on him! I agree. That's what I've been saying. One love Djokovic. He's got the set. And he's got the one love lead. Cam is perfect in every way. We're all perfect in every way. Oh, thanks, Mum. Why are you up at 1 a.m., Mum? That's weird. Mum, go to sleep. You're at work, I think, tomorrow, right? All right, serving to the forehand of Djokovic. Return goes down the line to the backhand of Sefulin. Backhand of Nole again to the backhand of Sefulin. As Nole hits a forehand again to the backhand of Sefulin. As Nole's forehand goes down the line to the backhand of Sefulin. Again, the backhand of Djokovic. As Sefulin on the stretch. Djokovic with a forehand inside out. Sefulin's there with the backhand. Into the backhand slice of Djokovic. Drop shot again. Sefulin gets it. Hits it in the net. Djokovic again with the drop shots. I think that's three successful drop shots in this match so far. Love 15. Love 15. As Sefjolan says again. Love 15. Into the backhand of Djokovic, who smacks it long, and it's 15 all. 15 all. As we serve again from Sefjolan. As a fault. Second serve. Second serve, Sefulin. He's a double fault. Gross. Check my salt in there. 
And it's 15.30. 15.30. First double fold of the night, the day, the afternoon. The afternoon. As we serve again down the tee, that's a fault. Second serve. Also, does anyone know if the schedule's out for tomorrow yet? Has anybody got the... Uh, does anyone know? As the return goes in the back, and it's Sefuel and down the line of the front of Djokovic. Sefuel on forehand into the net. 15-40. A chance to take the break early in the second. 15-40. No schedule yet. No worries. Thanks, Emily. 15.40. Schedule for tomorrow. I work 8 till 5. Mike, that's uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, serving the back end of Djokovic. As Sefulin hits the forehand down the line of the back end. Slice of Nole again to the forehand of Sefulin. As Djokovic backhand. Goes deep into the front of Sefulin. Again to the back end of Djokovic on the stretch. Sefulin. Down the line again. Nole with a slice. As Sefulin hits the forehand inside out. Djokovic is there with the backhand down the line. Sefulin goes again to the back end of Djokovic. Into the back end of Sefulin. As Djokovic hits the slice. And it goes long. And that's one save. 30-40. Always lurking. No worries. <laughs> Shout out to all the lurkers out there. Appreciate it. Thanks for uh, hanging out. One in the chat if you're at work right now. Don't tell the boss if you're watching. Just just put a one in the chat and we'll know. Don't want you to get in trouble. 30-40. Uh, so we've got wide the backhand of Djokovic. Four now from Sefulin. Still break point in Ole. As we're back in a backhand rally. Djokovic again with the backhand. Goes in the net. And we get to Deuce. Working from home. <laughs> All right. As we deduce. Hey Cam, great channel. Big number one. Do you know what the prize bag is for this one? I do. I do know the prize money for this one. As we return in the net from Djokovic and it's advantage to fuel in. Um, so the winner of this will get will apparently get well it's the 6.5 million dollars on offer for everybody uh, the winner will take home uh, the winner takes home nearly a million dollars just under a million. 997 US dollars. So just under a million dollars for uh, for the winner. So if you only gets on the board, 1-1. One, one. Uh, Runner-up gets $544,000. So that's the prize pool. It's actually, the reason why it's less than, than other tournaments is because it's only, it's men's only and also it's a smaller draw. Um, so it's not going to be, you're not going to get your uh, multi-million dollar prize like Indian Wells, for example, because it is a smaller tournament, but you just get, uh, we'll round up to a million dollars. You get a, a cool mill for the win. Has it a 400 4 and rally, and that's a winner from Nole, 15 love. Yes, I mean, look, pff, still, I mean, all of us would take that in a heartbeat. Uh, oh, it's not a million. Oh, well, we're not taking it. 997? Nah. I'm only taking a million. I mean, dude, if you're saying that, you're lying. 15 love. Has it a serve now from Jokovic out wide? Into the back end of Sefulin, who hits it in the net. That's 30 love. But, um... Drogovic serves again. Postcard from Amsterdam got to you yet. Uh, not yet. Um, there's still, apparently a lot of you have still sent postcards I haven't got here, so... I'll check the PO box at the end of the week. As the fuel hits a backhand winner down the line. Unbelievable, unbelievable. That might be his best shot so far today, 30-15. Uh, by the way, if you do want to send a postcard, we're filling the wall's filling up nicely. Look at it. It's really starting to fill the wall. So uh, if you want to send a postcard, 
There's a PO box in the chat somewhere. I don't know, a few of you have sent some, but they're not here yet. But um, I'll check the PO box at the end of the week. This is the back end of back end rally off the net from Sefulin. Goes wide and it's 40. Probably 40 15. 40 15 as Djokovic serves again. Forty fifteen. Djokovic serves and see the back of fuel and return goes wide and Djokovic two one in this first set. By the way, I, where are you watching from, everyone? Where, where are Can you? Watching? you my question, please? I'm in Melbourne. It's one in the morning and it's a little cold. Uh, it's getting cold. It's winter. I love it. It's dark and cold and raining, and that's that's how I like it. Perfect. But where are you watching from? Serbia. We've got Amsterdam. We've got um, another another Serbia. A lot of Serbians in the chat. Love to see it. UK. We've got Sweden, Dubai, Argentina, Bosnia, lurking in Seoul. Hey, nice uh, Holly. We've got the UK. We've got South Africa, Arizona, New York. We've got Serbia again. Texas, New Delhi. Uh, India, we've got San Francisco, we've got Ethiopia, Mexico, UK, Singapore, Trinidad and Tobago, South Korea, Oregon, a couple of people from Oregon, do you know each other? Or is Oregon like a massive place that I don't understand? Uh, <laughs> Perth, we've got uh, Southern California, uh, we've got Nottingham, Switzerland, Maine, Uzbekistan, Pakistan, we've got Philadelphia, we've got Italy, Australia, Gold Coast, love that, Nepal, Boston, uh, Switzerland, I've got something for the your Rod Laver, your wall, Rod Laver inspired, hopefully posting next week, hey Ashley, that's cool, that's cool, now we've got Mauritius, India, Italy, Scotland, Canada, Iceland, Malaysia, I don't know what country because I'm going through customs in Guatemala. So Aiden, uh, you're uh, in transit, I guess, um, between countries. 2-1 uh, here, Djokovic setting a lead here as he hits it down the line of the back and it's a and hits a wide. Love 15. We've got Morocco, we've got Moscow, Romania, St. Martin. We've got Cambridge in Canada, near Shepparton. We've got uh, Belgrade as well. Berlin. Hey, Big by Wolf, thank you for the 18 months. Appreciate that. A year and a half of membership. That's crazy. Appreciate it. Thank you for uh, sticking around. Belgrade, there you go. Shout out, Bre Belgrade. Uh, Love 15 is with a forehand inside out of the backhand of Djokovic. Again, to the forehand of Fuelin as Djokovic's backhand. Goes into the backhand of Sefulin, the backhand of Djokovic. Sefulin's backhand off a tape from Djokovic and Sefulin just sprays it long. I mean, that was just a bad miss hit. Love 30. Chance for Djokovic for the break in the second. Love 30. Love 30. I'm going to serve again from Sefulin. Love 30. Serve out wide the Fauna Djokovic. Fauna now from Sefulin to the Fauna Djokovic. Inside into the Fauna Sefulin as Djokovic on the attack goes down the line for another winner. Unbelievable. Norway's here to prove a point. That the first three months of the season doesn't matter if it's not on clay. Love 40. Djokovic is playing the best of the year so far. He is playing the best match all year. His forehand shot quality is a 9.6. His backhand is very similar. Nole is out here to prove a point in his first clay court match of the year, and that is a fault from Sefulin. Second serve, love 40. Love 40. As we return down to the corner, Sefulin, Jogger to the slice on the stretch. Sefulin, forehand, down the line winner. He saves one. 15-40, by the way, her catch beats Draper in a shootout in the final set. 
1540. Still a chance here to get the break. Djokovic in the second. Serve. Here's a fault. Second serve. 1540. Second serve is a double fault. All right. Nolay 3 1. But seriously, is this not the best match Djokovic has played? Yes, if Fjord is not playing well, but this has got to be Djokovic's best match of the year. He's played terrible for the most part. This has got to be the best match he's played all year. Let me have a look at his, his uh, results. So he beat Zhang 3-2 in the United Cup. He beat Lehechka in 3. He lost to Dimonor. He beat Prismich in 4. He beat Popperin in 4. He beat Echeverry in a close 3 sets. He smashed Manorino. Maybe Manorino is the best one of the year. He smoked him. Remember he was Love, Love, and 2 Love or something? So that was Love, Love, and 3. Then he beat Fritz and, you know, Sinner. He lost a set to Vukic. So this is probably his second best match of the year. Manorino, smoking Manorino was the best. But it, it, it's weird because usually we don't say about Djokovic, when was his best match? Usually his, every match is his best and we can only point out the bad ones. So this year, it's, he's had a lot worse. He's had a lot ba more bad matches than good, right? And this is one of the good ones. One of the really good ones is he gets a smash down the corner. Djokovic down the line of the backhand. Slice of Sefjord. Sefjord in the net, 15 love. 15 love. Djokovic serves again. 15 love. And he serves again here, Norway. Serving great, playing great. 15 love. Serve out wide is fault. Second serve. Second serve. Down the tier, the Fornis Safiulin, who shanks it wide. 30 love. Cam, is Nolo playing good or is Safiulin playing underperforming? Safiulin is not playing amazing. He's playing. Safiulin's playing below average. But Djokovic. Djokovic is playing very, very well. The best Djokovic has played, uh, one of the best all year. One of his best matches so far this year is he hits a fine winner down the line. No, Djokovic gets there with the lob. The lob goes long. And it's 30-15. Let me have a look at the shot quality for this because... So yeah, so Djokovic's shot quality... On the forehand, it's a 9.6. On the backhand, it's a 9. And it's an 8.3 on the serve. A 7 on returns. And that's way above the, the tour average. 8.6 forehand shot quality is ridiculous. It's out of 10, by the way. It's not out of 100. It's ridiculous. And he was a 9.6 until late in that set. So 9 and 9.6 on the ground strokes, ridiculous. And the serving at 8.3, that's insane as well. All right. Djokovic, 30-15. He serves again. Out wide, the back of the fuel and back into Djokovic on the stretch goes in the net. 30 all. Now that I've said all those things, stuff happens. 30 all. Thompson, a chance of Mof against Monfils. Somebody said Monfils, uh, uh, Thompson pulled out. All right, Djokovic has only lost six points on his serve here for the match. 30 all. He serves again. Out wide, the Fornis of Fjolin. So Fjolin in the net. 40 40-30. 40-30. As we the forehand of Sofjolin, forehand from Djokovic, is a winner. Another forehand winner, and it's Djokovic 4-1 in the second. Four games to one in the second. All right. Oh, 
Are you still on the schedule? I don't, somebody said in the chat that it was uh, that Thompson withdrew. So I don't know what that was about. I, don't, I must have missed something. I'm gonna start making Alcaraz jokes. Why? Why just be like uh, like toxic on purpose? The forehand seems to be back. Yeah, he's at a 9.6 forehand shot quality. That is huge. Because usually the backhand is the one that's on fire. Uh, who is Novak's new coach sitting in the box? So he's got a he's got a temp, a temporary coach in uh, Nanad Zimanic, who was a former doubles player. Uh, really good doubles player, by the way. Serbian player. So, uh, yeah, he is there at the moment. And it's a temporary situation. Vukic and Monfils. Vukic is going to play Monfils. So one, one Aussie goes out, the other Aussie comes in. So Vukic is going to play Monfils. Winner plays Medvedev. Vukic is replacing him. Uh, thank you, Emily, for confirming that as well. Um, oh, okay, fair enough, Dawn. Uh, I think withdrawal of Alcaraz boosted Norlay's confidence. Maybe. Uh, former world number one doubles player. Yeah, there you go. He's a very good doubles player. As I said, very good. As that goes in there from Sefuel and Love 15. What if there's no lucky losers left? <laughs> that would be insane. Then they'd get a walkover. Or they'd get a doubles guy. I don't know. Plenty of doubles players sit walking around. All right, love 15 here. That's what it served now. The backhand of Djokovic for turn down the line of the forehand of Sefulid. Djokovic forehand again to the forehand of Sefulid into the forehand of Djokovic. who hits it inside out of the back of Sefulid on the stretch. Djokovic draw a slice into the slice of Sefulid and Sefulid and then at love 30. Now, the reason why Thompson pulled out, I'm going to guess, was because he won the doubles last week in Houston. So I reckon Thompson probably pulled out because he didn't get here in time. Um, yeah. So I don't think Tomo's unless there's a reason he's like he's injured, but I think that um, I, I think the reason Tomo probably withdrew is because he was in the, he won Houston in the doubles last week, and he probably just couldn't fly over the uh, over the over the pond to get here in time. All right. Love 30. As Djokovic serves a forehand down the line. Sorry, goes in the forehand of Sefulin, who smacks it in the net. And it's Love 40. Djokovic cruising. Love 40. Love 40 as we to serve into the net from Sefulin. Second serve. Second serve. Into the backhand of Djokovic. Djokovic in the net. Good second serve. 15-40. I think he was nursing his shoulder problem too. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense as well. Is Tomo the guy with the stash? Yeah. <laughs> and the mullet. All right. 15-40. So if you're with the serve out wide, he's an ace. 30-40. All right. 30 40. Serving the Fauna Djokovic return goes in, but it's called a let. 30 40. 30 40. Serving the backhand of Djokovic. Fauna now from Sefulin is a winner, and he saves all three. We get the deuce. Uh, Thompson wants to bring the 80s back. I think he shaved his mustache, didn't he? He got, he got rid of the mullet. I think he shaved his mustache as well, right? Doesn't he have like a full beard? I swear he has a full beard now. I'm going to serve down the backhand of Djokovic. Backhand now from Sefulin. The backhand of Djokovic. The backhand of Sefulin. Backhand of Donald down the line to the front of Sefulin. As Djokovic's forehand goes cross court. So if you're on with a slice, goes wide. Djokovic gets to advantage. Yeah, so the reason why you don't get, if it's your 
if it's a first round, uh, first match, so Elkris, for example, pulling out of his first match, or Thompson, they get replaced by a lucky loser. So no, there's no walkover. Uh, you don't get a first round walkover unless they play the match. So yeah, lucky losers come in for those first matches. As Sefulon hits another forehand winner and gets back to Deuce. He shaved off the stash. I'm pretty sure he, sta he shaved the stash. Or he, or he grew a beard. Pretty sure he grew a beard. Uh, Deuce. Because we watched him at Wimbledon. He didn't look the same. He looked like a totally different dude. All right. Served in a tee from Sefulon is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the backhand slice of Djokovic. Who hits it in the net. Advantage, Sefulin. Advantage, Sefulin. To not go to the bakery again. Yeah, so Vukic, who is a lucky loser, has now replaced Thompson, yeah. Advantage, Djokovic, uh, Sefulin, sorry, back in at Djokovic to the back end, Sefulin. As Djokovic's backhand goes down the middle of the fauna Sefulin into the fauna of Djokovic. As Sefulin hits a backhand cross court, Djokovic gets it. Goes down the line. Sefulin with a forehand into the fauna of Djokovic. And Nola hits it out. And Sefulin gets on the board. And it is 4 2, Djokovic in the second. You should grow a stash cam. I already have a stash. Okay. Four to Djokovic. As he's got a center break, he will take on the winner of Musetti and Feast, who are coming on pretty soon. As that goes out in the return from Sefulin, second uh, 15 love. Predictions. Uh, my prediction for this was Djokovic in straight sets. Are you talking about this match or in, in general? Fifteen love. So do see the fauna Sefulin. Return goes into the back end of Djokovic. Sefulin backhand to the back end of Nole, who goes on the line. Sefulin with a slice forehand goes in the net. Thirty love. 30 love. Thirty love is Djokovic six points away. For the tournament cam, you didn't make a video. What do you mean I did I made I what am, I yes I did. What do you mean I didn't make a video? Thirty love? Djokovic serves a fault. Second serve. We did a hot. We did a draw ceremony, and then we did a video as well. Right? We did two videos. As uh, a backhand return from wide from Sefulin, and it's forty love. I made two videos for you. Cam did a tournament. Uh, did, yeah. We did a live draw, and then we did a, a video as well. For for. Matt, you must you maybe you missed it. It's definitely there though. Go watch it. As the return goes, oh, Djokovic slipped over, but it's called a fault. Second serve. Yeah, Jermaine watched it. Yeah, turn on your notifications. If you turn the notifications on, you'll get you'll get it. <laughs> All right, return goes into the backhand, but Sofiolan smacks it out. It's five two. Djokovic in the second. Five to Djokovic in the second set. You did, Cam. You didn't dream it. Yeah, I, I thought so. I'm like, I'm losing my mind. I see it now. I didn't get a notification. I only get some. Oh, well. That's it. You got to tell YouTube. Tell YouTube that. Report. Just tell YouTube. Be like, hey, I'm not getting notified by them. The app is, <laughs> it's the app's fault. Do they sell wig stashes at the wig shop cam? Now look, listen here. This is a this is my natural hair. 
and facial hair, right? I'm sick of this. I don't wear wigs. So shut up. <laughs> Stop with the lies. I'm sick of this. Um, Sinego in for Alcaraz. Yes. And I love that. Because I've got Sinego on my bench. And now he can come on. And he can play as Alcaraz. He can cosplay as Alcaraz and be the the king that I need him to be. Cam did a video. Thank you. I, I know I did. I never get the uh, notifications either. That's so annoying. YouTube s sucks. All right, here we go. 5 2. So, fuel and serving to stay in the match. There's a bit of forehand. Serve out wide the forehand to Djokovic. Forehand from Safiulin. Down the line to Djokovic. Backhand. Goes in the forehand to Safiulin. Safiulin in the net. Love 15. Yeah, great for FAA. I mean, not to play Alcaraz. That helps. That helps a lot. Right, love 15. Serve out wide the backhand slice to Djokovic. Forehand out from Safiulin. Is a winner. 15 all. Yeah, if you have. You gotta set your alerts. So there's alerts that say some, and there's one some that say all. So if you wanna get notified when we upload, you gotta click all. Otherwise, YouTube are just gonna like pick and choose. So you might miss some. So if you wanna get keep up to date with everything, uh, you gotta put on all notifications, which can be annoying. I un I definitely understand that. So uh, if you f if you don't want to put on all notifications, don't do it because it will you will get spammed. Um, but. Yeah, if you change it to all, because I think right now, like most of the time it's on, I think the default setting is like, like some. So yeah, you're going to put on all notifications. You will never miss a video. All right, 15.30. So if you want to hit a terrible smash in the net, he's hit the forehand down the line. Djokovic with the pass. Too good. No late match points. This is going to be on Venice TV, bro. Novak Djokovic with the match points. Two of them to take his spot in the, uh, in the third round without breaking a sweat. 15.40. And Safiulin serves. Out wide, the Fauna Djokovic return goes back into Safiulin, who hits a winner. Great shot to save one. 30.40. 30.40. Match point number two. And Safiulin serves the Fauna Djokovic. Fauna Safiulin inside out, and then that! Nole with a shake of the fist. No coach, no problem. Djokovic gets the first game, or the first match in Monte Carlo. A dangerous match too, because the Fulin, we know, can cause trouble. Now Djokovic might have to play Musetti in a couple of days' time. But Novak with a raised fist. No Goran, no problem. Ha <laughs> ha. He's back, baby. George Russell loves it. George Russell loves it. He's, he's happy. Ziminich, the temporary coach, high-fiving everyone. He's like, hey, yeah. He wins with me. Don't know what this Goron guy was doing. But he wins with me. All right, just over an hour, by the way. That was one of the best matches Djokovic has played all season. All right. So, Fjolan, eh, he played Djokovic. What do, you, what do you expect? He played Novak Djokovic. That's what happens. That's what happens. Ask Manorino. Strong start, yeah. Very strong start. I hope he plays Feast. I hope he plays Musetti. <laughs> I wanted to play Musetti again. Give him the give him another shot at Musetti. That's what I want to see. I want to see him take on Musetti and get that revenge. Djokovic for coach of the year. <laughs> Can he win coach of the year? <laughs> Is he allowed? Can he win coach of the year? I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah, please the Musetti rematch. Yeah. Let's hope so. Be cool to see him play, uh, get a rematch. He probably can. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You all think coaches make a difference? Yeah, coaches make a big difference. To some players, depends who you are. 
depends who you are. By the way, we, we missed the rain, which is nice. It looked like it was going to... Uh, it looks like it's going to rain again. Um, so we've missed... At least we missed it for now. What is the local time? 5 p.m.? 6 p.m.? <clears throat> it's supposed to be raining in the next hour or so. Um, by the way, if you are leaving, don't forget to sub on the way out. Apparently there's thunderstorms tonight. It's going to get ugly. Tomorrow's going to be on and off as well, so we'll see what happens. But At least we got through. Uh, do you ever switch over to an ongoing match after one ends? I've been following for months and I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, sometimes we watch like the end of a match if there's like a bonus match, for example, but nah. I'm just not a fan of, um, I'm not a fan of like, like just like chasing matches. Like if this match was boring and there's another good match, I like to watch the match in from start to finish. You know, we start, we watch Djokovic, we start from finish, right? You know, otherwise it does you guys a disservice. If I'm like, oh, uh, let's go watch Echeverry instead. Like, that's, uh, we're going to watch this one, we're going to watch this one, you know? Sometimes we do, like, if there's a, like, maybe, if, like, Hercat Draper was playing a tiebreak, we might watch that at the end of this, like, you know, if it was happening now, but please don't write in all caps, it's really annoying. It's really annoying. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I like to keep, like, each stream contained to what we're supposed to be watching. All right, 5.30 local time, okay. So yeah, it's supposed to rain in an hour or so. Rank all four Grand Slams. Wimbledon, Australian Open, US Open, French Open. Why was the Monfils match cancelled? Because Thompson withdrew. So Vukic is now playing against him. Thompson withdrew. That is why. Nothing happened to Monfils. Monfils is playing. Thompson withdrew. Thompson withdrew. Thanks for the stream, Noah Rodrigo. We'll see you later. Nole will play the winner of Feast and um, Musetti, who are playing soon. So he'll play the winner of them. Quarters playing side could give Sinner trouble. Uh, maybe. I don't know. So far, Medi has the best clay kit so uh, yet. I haven't seen it yet. Why am I in timeout? Because you're writing in all caps and I asked you nicely multiple times not to do it. Yeah, Musetti again. That could be fun. Cam, your face looks less energy. Why? I don't know. Maybe your maybe your internet connection's bad. I don't know. I hope Klaivedev comes to the play of the season. I hope so too. That'd be fun to have Klaivedev 2.0. We'll get the second year of Klaivedev. That would be pretty epic. Cam, you look tired. It's one in the morning. What do you? Of course I do. It's my face. Can we watch Nagel tomorrow? Maybe. He is playing um, Runa, which is a fun match. And now with Alcaraz out, we might actually be able to put that on the card. We just got to see what the schedule is. Talking to crazy people in chat will change your face. <laughs> hey, you said that, not me, Jermaine. That was, you said that. You look fresh-faced on my screen. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> It's always the people that don't have their face in the profile pictures that uh, tell me how I should look. That's this. <laughs> you look tired. Okay, uh, you know, write you. Is that your real face? Like, what do you want? Come on. Uh, what do you think of Berrettini loss? Look, speaking of tired, Berrettini was tired. I think we can all agree that Berrettini was just too tired. My 10-year-old son thinks you look fab in that jacket. Shout out to your 10-year-old son. 
<laughs> Wait, hang on. I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> Is that good? I look cool. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know. It's a... <laughs> Um, this is why I can't get savage. Ah, look, it's part of the deal. I have a hoodie as my profile picture. Nice. But Dutch, you don't call me tired, so yeah. that's fine. Cam's still allergic to compliments. I am. Cam, do you prioritize matches with top five players? Of course I do. Of course I do. We will have to watch the best players in the world. It's just a fact. Eating fruit will prevent scurvy, Cam. Thank you for that. It's too early to have these kind of comments. Um, you look fab, stylish, and dignified. Thank you. Appreciate it. I wasn't going for that. I just, I'm cold, so I put on the clothes that I have in my house, but I'll take it. Um, all right. Berrettini was tied, yeah. Any plans to go to any tournaments in person this year? No. Unless Wimbledon want to, like, you know, pay f for flights. <laughs> Call me, you know, unless, unless, like, a tournament wants to, like, you know, you know sponsor me to go to the tournament. Uh, no, I'm not going to any tournaments this year. I am staying home. Triple Masters all the way. Well, now with Alcaraz out, something that maybe. What's with the jacket? Looks fabulous. It's just because I'm cold. This is what I look like in normal, like real life. Like this is what I wear in real life. My uniform is... Actually, no, I wear that on in real life too, but... I just put a jacket on because I'm cold. Any chance Verev loses a set? Against Ovna? Uh, no. I believe in Zverev. I think Zverev will win. In straight sets. Can okay, apart from Sanago, what are the other players on the team? Great question. Uh, Ovna is on my team. Uh, I've got Zhang, Musetti's on my team. I've got Alcaraz, Sinner, Rude, and Runa. So Alcaraz, that one sucks because I just got him this week and he's out. But um, Sinner, Rude, Runa are also on my team. Yeah, Zhang won. Yep. Big win for Team Cam. I'm excited for that one. We need Musetti to win. We need Ovna not to lose bad. That would be handy. Um, but I don't really hold much hope, but that's all right. I have a ticket for... I have tickets for Madrid. I'm very sad. Why are you sad? I didn't think Australians ever had to worry about getting cold. I live in Melbourne, and Melbourne is... It's like living in England, except we get better summers and no snow. But still, it's like living in England. It's just shit weather. <laughs> Shitty weather. Put the radio on, Cam. Look, I could either put the radiator on and pay for the electricity, or I could wear a jacket and pay for nothing. So I'm going to do that until it gets real cold where I'm like, I am shivering. I'm not going to put the heater on because uh, I'm cheap. Energy efficient. I mean, I'm energy, energy efficient. I'm, 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 I'm fisc fiscally, fiscally, I'm, I'm responsible. Vote for jacket. Thank you. Until it gets real cold and then I'll have to do both. I have a jacket and, <laughs> and put the heater on, but I'm good for now. What does Edamo mean? I think it means come on. Probably no Carlos, that's why. Brenda, no. Nah. Madrid's ages away. If he pulls out of Barcelona next week, that's when you got to get worried. But don't be worried. He might just need another week, and then next week he comes back and plays. Don't worry about it. Uh, are you like... Are you like make girls on date cheap or just... Energy cheap. <laughs> what? Are you like make girl? <laughs> wait, what? What are you? Are you saying that? <laughs> wait, what are you trying to say? 
Well, did I take did I take people out to McDonald's? Is that what you say that I'm, I'm cheap? I'm being cheap when I go on a date. Is that what you're asking? No. I'm just cheap when I at my house when I live at home. Do I make girls pay on cheat on dates? No. <laughs> no, I don't do that. I don't leave my house. It's hard to go on a date when you can't leave the house. Uh, Melbourne is cloudy and grey and rains every other day like the UK. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore it, Cam. <laughs> Enough personal questions. Yeah, don't ask me personal questions. It made me sad. Um, Sin of the winner. We'll watch him tomorrow. See you later, Katie. Uh, could have sustained this injury in training. He was fine in Miami. Yeah, that's what I was saying um, with with Alcaraz. You know, where did this injury come from? He was fine in Miami, or at least he looked fine. So he must have got this injury over the last couple, uh, last week. What kind of comments are that? Yeah. Look, some people just, uh, uh, look, ask questions. Uh, now we're not going to watch Musetti. I will watch it, but I'm not going to stream it. I mean, could Alcaraz have sustained this injury in training? Maybe. I mean, most likely, right? Because we haven't seen. But he wasn't injured in Miami, not with the not the same injury. He he might have had a foot problem, but he didn't have an arm problem in Miami. So there's definitely something uh, something that's happened in the last week off like off court that has caused him trouble. I think Djokovic has a chance of after seeing him today. Hell yeah. Djokovic should be the favorite after today. Now, Sinner plays tomorrow, so but I think Djokovic is the favorite for this tournament, right? Chat. Is Djokovic, is Djokovic not the favorite for the event? I'm talking to a Djokovic chat. Of course they're going to say yes. But Djokovic is the favorite for Monte Carlo. And I'm trying to find out if that is... I can't find that out. But I'm guessing that he is the favorite. And I know Sinner was the other option, but it's either Djokovic or Sinner. And on clay, I say Djokovic. Because if Djokovic and Sinner play in the final on clay, advantage Djokovic, I think. So I'm going to go Djokovic. Just, I mean, him and Sinner might be equal favorites. Like we might be in that territory where we've got two favorites. But with Alcaraz gone, it helps Djokovic immensely. And I think him and Sinner... Easy one and two, but I think Sinner is um, just behind Djokovic on clay. Nole, Zverev, Sinner, Runa, Rublev. Okay. Novak went home to figure out how to beat Sinner. Goran couldn't help him. He got fired. Savage, but probably true. Is Djokovic not always the favorite? Pretty much. But like recent times, he's people have been doubting him, right? Because uh, Sinner's been beating him. So recent, recent form would suggest that he's not the favorite. By the way, I want to give a shout out to Adidas, who are not sponsoring the video, but oh, I wish they would. Sponsor the channel, please. I'll wear it. Um, their outfits are fire. They're so, they're like so, they're like Federer, 2010 Federer. Like just basic, classy. Like what Zvera's wearing... I mean, it's just like a nice, like a blue, like a gray with like a white collar, super basic. The like the, um, the other guys, even the ladies, you know, wearing the green, just the normal, just the basic colors. They've just gone for basic, no patterns, no bullshit, no craziness, no wild, you know, psychedelic, you know, LSD colors. It's just totally basic and classy. It's so classy. So classy. Because what Zvera's wearing looks like he's gone... Like, it's like business. He looks like a, he's gone out to business. This is, a, this is a work outfit. He's wearing a business outfit. I love it. It's very classy. Classic, exactly. No poo stains. No blood stains. Nothing like that. Just normal. Just classic. Bulk, bulky colors. That's it. It's just block colors. Love it. 
Very nice. It's a nice change amidst the rainbow vomit that we saw last year. Adidas means class. Yeah, they're going to they're going back to basic. They've gone classic. I love it. Anyone remember those brown Adidas shorts? I know we remember them. <laughs> the ones with the coffee stains. Yeah, we remember those. By the way, Etcheverry serving for the match against Jarry. Also, Monfils up a break against Vukic 4-2. Where will you put your money on Thursday, Musetti or Djokovic? Djokovic. But I'm not going to bet on it, so I'm, don't ask me that. Um, <laughs> and don't take my, my... This is not betting advice. Do you do what you want? Do you ever need a haircut? I think he's just living with it now. It's just him now. This is, this is his style. Um, not like Big Foe, the other tournaments. Yeah. I mean, even Elkaraz at uh, Indian Wells with that pink, that pink. I mean, it's totally different to what uh, Adidas are going with now. Now they're just going the classic colors. How long do you think Elkaraz will be out for? I hope just the week. I hope he'll be back next week. That'd be really good for all of us, you know, for tennis, for everything. Yeah, Zverev's about to start, and I'm going to go watch it. I have a feeling that Zverev might, like Zverev's, um, Zverev's match might get interrupted by rain, but we'll see. Look more like poo stains. Well, I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. Um... I like Berrettini's kit. I didn't see it, unfortunately. Now, is the schedule out for tomorrow yet? I'm trying to... That's why I'm stalling. I want to see what's up. No schedule yet? That's annoying. Doesn't seem like anything. Um, Valo Echeverry is three points away from winning. They probably have it after you leave again. I know, right? <laughs> Unpopular opinion, but I really did not. I really did like the Adidas from two years ago, especially Sissy Bass kit. Sarah, that is an unpopular opinion, but you, look, it's not a wrong opinion because we like what we like. So, you know, I'm not going to say that the outfits that you liked uh, were wrong. I didn't like them because, and that's just what opinions are, right? But yeah, unpopular opinion for sure. <laughs> not many people liked them. So you're in the, you're definitely, uh, Definitely on the, on the other side of that, but I'm not going to say that you are wrong for that opinion. The Diz kits are right, right now are sick. I mean, these are awesome. I love these ones. The clay seasons, the ladies' outfits were awesome last week. Um, you know, just the, the yellow, the red, the orange, the gray, the green. I mean, they're just so, they're just classic. Some might say they think they're boring, but I think they're great. Call me boring. Uh, no, I don't think Djokovic plays tomorrow. I think he'll get a day off. Uh, but he will play on uh, Thursday uh, on every day he, if, if he wins. Yeah. So he'll play Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then again, he might play tomorrow. But I doubt he'll play tomorrow. Dasha looked good in the yellow dress. Yeah, yeah. Zvera looks great. Yes, cl it's classy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very nice change from all the crazy colors we've had over the last five years. All those crazy designs. Fluoro, like bright, glow-in-the-dark colors. Sorry. 
Sinner's kits this year have been pretty good. Have been great. Yeah, Sinner's been wearing some good kits as well. What he wore on the Sunshine Double was great. All right. Still no schedule, so I'm going to have to go. But we'll be back tomorrow. I don't know what we're watching. I mean, I'm, I can guess. Um, <laughs> we're going to watch Rune and possibly Rune and Nagel. Uh, we'll watch so, uh, maybe Sinner Quarter some point tomorrow. Uh, we're going to watch Alcaraz, but that's not happening. Um, we might watch... Uh, I mean, Mevin of Morfis, possibility, tomorrow as well. So there are some fun matches. Um, yeah, so it might be a bigger day tomorrow than it was uh, was today. Hopefully it doesn't rain that much so we get through uh, get through everything. But um, yeah, thanks for joining us. Easy win for Djokovic. 6162. He gets through in straights. We haven't watched a close match yet. Hopefully tomorrow we start getting the bangers. But uh, 6162, Djokovic gets the win. He beats the Fjorn. He's into the third round.